it's been from three different claims here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sweep command. So go ahead and make a new sketch. We're just going to make a circle that is 10 mil in diameter. Finish that sketch. Head over to Origin to the left of your screen and turn on the XZ plane. So just right click and then hit visibility. So you'll notice that the plane in the center will come up. Once you've done that, all what you need to do is create a new sketch on the plane. And then we're going to get that up the right way. We're going to project geometry at the center point of that circle. You'll notice the little cross will come up. And then we can start making a new sketch. So just create a line from the top vertically. Then let's make an arc. So the way you can make an arc is either use the arc command up there, or you can hold down the left button when you see a little grey dot in the middle, and then just move it around, and you it can create arcs. So just going to go make one of those. Do a straight line, make another arc, and then do another straight line. So you'll notice that you'll have a few dimensions needed. So first we'll just make that arc 20 mil, let's say. And then for that 80, the, make both the um, arcs equal to each other by using the equal command. We've still got five dimensions needed, so we'll do one from there to there between the two points. Let's make that 75 mil. And then we'll probably need one determining that length, which is, say, 70. That length as well, which is maybe 40. This doesn't, the dimensions don't really matter too much. You just need to put them in to make it fully constrained. And then use a tangent constraint on there, and then we'll probably need another one. No, that already exists. So it must be another constraint, which may be from there to there. And that's cool at 115. So now it's fully constrained, as you can see from the bottom here and the fact that it's all blue. So you can go ahead and turn off, finish the sketch, sorry, finish the sketch, and then go ahead and turn off that plane. And then what we're going to do is head up here next to revolve and extrude and hit sweep. So you'll notice that it will select the circle down the bottom there. And once it's done that, all you need to do is select the lines that you want. So we're going to select that whole piece there. And you can see that everything gets highlighted. So just click on that, and you can see that it makes a sweep all in one go, which is pretty cool. You can change a few different settings in here, but for the moment, we'll just go OK. And there you go. That's how you do a sweep. So thanks for watching. Head over to 3D Printed Plans for more in information and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.